have and not much extra light being shed on this controversy. No, the Taoiseach very pointedly refusing to disclose the exact reason why these four high-ranking individuals were singled out for expulsion from the Russian embassy in Rathgar. And that brings Ireland is going against the grain of the other European countries that offered similar moves yesterday. The Netherlands, Belgium and the Czech Republic collectively expelled 38 diplomats that were accredited to their embassies and consulates in their countries. And they have all openly said that the reason why they've singled out those people is because they weren't involved in diplomacy, but they were involved in surveillance, intelligence gathering and some forms of espionage. But this afternoon when we asked Michal Martin whether he would go on record to say that Ireland was expelling them for similar reasons, he wouldn't go quite that far. The reasons were well founded for doing this um, and um, under the Vienna Convention um, and on the basis that the activities of these individuals was not in accordance with international standards of diplomacy. I think people can read uh, you know, various f f things from that, but fundamentally uh, there was a security premise underlining the decision. So maybe the Taoiseach leaving it open to interpretation there, inviting people to conclude that there was some kind of espionage, but he says it's simply Ireland's national form that we don't divulge the exact reasons why this is being done. Still awaiting an official response from the Kremlin. They have singled out Belgium and the Netherlands, which are responsible for the lion's share of those expulsions from their countries. And it says that similar measures will be coming in time, which effectively means then that we can expect probably four of the six diplomats in Moscow to be expelled from the Irish embassy there. In the meantime, as you heard earlier, Roger Gorman has been giving the Dáil an update on the number of people coming to Ireland from Ukraine. The number has now exceeded 15,000 and he says the challenge of accommodating those people is going to be one of the greatest ones the country's ever seen. This is the greatest humanitarian crisis Ireland has ever faced. More than 15,000 people have fled here in just over a month, with more than half of those now accommodated by the state. This response will get more challenging in the weeks and months ahead. He says that is the reason why Ireland has now set aside camp-style accommodation, the likes of uh, military barracks in Gormanstown for the likes, and also uh, convention centres, which are now going to be laid out similar to where they were in COVID, the dormitory-style settings. All of those to be used, Roger Gorman says it is only a matter of time before the tipping point comes and they have to be used for accommodating refugees.